So you want to add additional lighting to your uh, existing Athern Genesis locomotive uh, with the Tsunami 2 decoder. Now, um, already, I right, added the LEDs here on the uh, steps. Now, if you look closely at the, the models, that right here, that has a step light there, also a truck light. So we do is put the LED behind it, uh, if you didn't know that already. And here, on the bottom, you're going to have to drill the hole out for the, to stick the LED wires through. Because you see here on the bottom, this guy here, uh, it doesn't have it. So you have to drill the hole out there. And that's uh, what I did. Now, uh, using this Gorilla Glue here, and I use the accelerant to, to speed up the drying process, make it harder and faster, but it's turning it white. So um, it's going to get covered up by uh, the weathering, so it won't be an issue. So I'm just going to show you how to just thread this through. It's just real simple, super easy. Remember to drill the hole out and uh, grab the leaves there and just uh, thread it through. Just like that. There, no problem and how it'll just lay there on the bottom just gotta glue it down as you can uh, see there so this is how i got mine set up here now we have uh, six extra leds here on this locomotive so what i did is to have the rear lights with the power i put the two step lights on here now with this uh that powers the dish lights i added two powers here and then it's going to control the other uh, truck lights here and the headlight here I added two LEDs here that will power the, um, the first two uh, step lights there so now I got the four leads here you can see that here and I'm going to put that to function number uh, F3 uh, there but when the controls on the F3 I think it'd be 23 or 24 but I'm at the city getting one of power to, uh, to confirm that and I can control it individually from the step lights to with the truck lights. So truck lights is uh, here, is right here. So I'm gonna put that into the uh, F4 uh, slot. So I'm gonna go get the side iron and get that warmed up and uh, get the three powers and the two function wires uh, soldered in there. And here we got it all soldered up here. Remember we got the three places to get power from. I'm using the F3 and the F4 function on this decoder, but on the control system, uh, it won't be F3, F4, it'll be about F24 and a 23, I believe it is. But remember, you always can uh, refunction uh, these here, the pit to whatever you like. Um, on the decoders, gotta go through the manuals. So this is how it should look like here. Remember, we got a four for the step lights and two here for the truck lights and um, it's an easy project to do if um, you have the time and uh, you want to add a little bit more uh, lights to your uh, locomotive uh, instead of ripping this out and uh, getting a new one just use what you got Here we go, we're gonna start it up. So we're gonna check out the lighting functions. So uh zero for the headlights. Now we're going to F five for dish lights, they work fine, LEDs, test the horn out. And you see that the dish light still flashing, is uh, still bright. Of course the LEDs from the factory. Um these require no resistors, but if you want to add them, it's fine. Now let's go to our option. If you have the NC power cap, be hit. Now uh, 23 is uh, all aboard. I just want to show you that. It's funny to hear that on this engine. But anyway, now uh, F24 is uh, when the function is used, and that cuts on the step lights there, as you can uh, see there. Lit up and also going to F25 and the customer on the truck and move the engine. Just a quick recap as you say that we do have all the trucks 
I'm sorry, step lights there. Got the uh, truck lighting there on the uh, locomotive. Maybe you can see that there on um, both of them. So it's a, a simple, easy project to do. You want to add some more light to your uh, locomotive. Same thing here for this other uh, locomotive, the uh, PRLX uh, 4843. Uh, same way I did it. Uh, only difference is I put this guy have one power and one function, so the step lights and truck lights come on at one time. Well, I did was one here at the 4834. That's on the uh, three different powers sources and two different functions. So it was, uh, you do either or, and they both uh, look good. I take this off the tripod here. They can see they both are uh, bright, factory uh, LEDs. But of course, once again, I had the truck in the uh, step light. So, there we have it.